This is our minivan. My daughters call that the big minivan. It's summertime. I've got my ridiculous Bermuda shorts on, my SPF rated in scientific notation, and I've got this. This is the new Airstream Interstate based on a Mercedes Sprinter van. It's uh, luxurious, it's well appointed, it's expensive, about $130,000 as it sits, and it's big. The question is, is it big enough to handle the Neil clan, all four of us in a standard poodle, for one week? We're about to find out. Okay, so this is our suite for the uh, week. We've got uh, four captain's chairs that swivel around a, uh, a dining room table that uh, comes in and out of a post in the floor. We've got overhead storage. We've got uh, a really adorable sink with about, um, I think we've got about 40 gallons of uh, fresh water on board. An equally adorable stove, a nice little refrigerator, a microwave convection oven, that's pretty interesting. More overhead storage, a very big uh, air conditioning system because uh, believe me, it gets hot in here. Here's our shower, about the size of a telephone booth in Munchkin land. And here are the brains of the operation. This is the unit's power control system. When you need a little more juice, you just fire up the generator. Like all RVs, especially Airstreams, they're so diabolically clever that you have to, you know, kind of figure out how they work. Uh, for example, last night I strained my back trying to uh, lower the seat. Then I found out, oh yeah, it's electric. Now this thing has a turbo diesel engine in it. It's uh, only got about you know, 200 horsepower, but it's got about uh, 400 pound-feet of torque, so it's plenty fast and very, very fuel efficient. This thing gets about 15, 16 miles to the gallon. For a big RV, that is amazing. After all, this thing is the size of an apartment complex. It's easy to drive. It's uh, fairly maneuverable in traffic. Uh, it's so big, however, and uh, because you can't really uh, see out the back, they have a television rear view mirror. Well, we made it. Day one on the road in the books. And the uh, Airstream was, uh, was pretty okay. It does have a few peculiarities about it. One, I noticed the nav system script is incredibly, almost illegibly small. Uh, two, old people are never gonna be able to operate these uh, manual seats. And some of the systems on the vehicle are still a little baffling. For example, I don't understand why this power step, which is really important to get in and out of the vehicle, comes out sometimes and not other times. I have the switch in the right position. Uh, this makes me think uh, this vehicle might be Oh, I don't know, not all that elder friendly. You can just imagine, you know, your grandparents beating on the control system trying to get the television to work. But all in all, a good trip. It's a perfect summer vehicle for a retired couple. Unfortunately, we're a non-retired couple with two kids and a giant dog. So we'll see how it goes the rest of the week. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Dan Neal.